Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Cam Hayward's been, to me, probably the best Steeler consistently, you know, game in and game out this entire season, and that's no big surprise, obviously, because of how good the guy's been, but his play has, even to me, taken a step forward this year, which is kind of crazy to think about, and I could be doing, you know, five or ten videos on his play overall this season, but today I want to talk about a more underrated part of his game, and uh, something that's been really good for him and good for the team this year is um, being able to impact you know the pass game and quarterbacks even when you don't get to the quarterback. Cam Hayward uh, currently leads the team with five pass deflections this season, all of course at the line of scrimmage, and he just does a great job of, of, of feeling it and reading it and making those plays. Had two more on Sunday against Denver. We're going to look at them today. First one comes relatively early in the game. There is Cam Hayward lined as a five tech on this play. And, you know, oftentimes he goes for the, the bat, at least more intentionally, whenever he's the contain guy. And so on this play, it's a four man rush. We'll see Melvin Ingram uh, lined, uh, walked off the line of scrimmage here and dropped big into coverage. So uh, Hayward's kind of acting as the right outside linebacker on this play, containing this one so Bridgewater can't escape to his left. And so on this play, it's less emphasis on getting to the quarterback and more so on just containing this overall so maybe someone like tj watt can get home and so hayward you know reading the eyes of bridgewater reading the, sh the shoulders of bridgewater and times it up well gets a left hand on that football and the pass is incomplete and this one probably would have been complete underneath to the uh broncos wide receiver so just great job there to read the shoulder and uh time that up well and, and bat that pass down a little later in the game came hayward lined up here they're going to run this off ball linebacker blitz actually we highlighted this in week one against buffalo with Melvin ingram looping across to the uh, opposite side B gap here and, and Hayward kind of slanting down. And so um, again, his job here is to more or less take on blockers and he ends up getting double teamed here by the center and the right guard. So he knows there's really no way he's going to get after the quarterback on this play. So instead of trying to this fruitless effort of trying to rush the quarterback through this double team, um, he's going to just, you know, again, read Teddy Bridgewater and, and wait for the pass and, and get his hands up and kind of volleyball swats his football and could have been picked off here. Actually could have been caught by the receiver as well. But, um, you know, Hayward, knowing the situation, his, his job on this play is not necessarily to be the guy that gets home. That's going to be hopefully more Melvin Ingram. And uh, Hayward, knowing he's getting the double team, will not get to the quarterback. So next best thing, still impacting the play, is by being able to get your hands up and knock this pass down and up into the air. And hopefully he gets a good bounce, but uh, still incomplete pass on this play. This last example is not a pass deflection. You saw the only two he had in that game, but it kind of just shows in and exemplifies the the mentality and Cam Hayward understanding down distance and actively in some situations going for the bat even more so than the pass rush. This is going to be, let me scroll back here, fourth and two in the fourth quarter against Denver. And so he knows, or at least Hayward's going to believe the ball's probably going to try to get out pretty quick here. So on this play, Cam Hayward, and we'll see the end zone view here in a second, doesn't even really attempt to rush the quarterback. He's just trying to, you know, assume if something comes quick, if there's a quick slant or something, some quick throw behind him on fourth and two, um, his best path is probably to bat the pass as opposed to trying to get to Teddy Bridgewater. This pass ends up, you know, being a longer throw, the seven route downfield that's complete to the wide receiver, uh, Cortland Sutton. But you just watch Hayward on this play. I mean, he is just trying to, you know, watch and wait for the pass and try to knock it down uh, like a volleyball player at the net and uh, kid not on this play because it's a, it's a downfield throw. But uh, you see some hops here from Cam Hayward and trying his best. And so, um, again, obviously does not happen on this play and the coverage is miscommunication, I think, between Joe Schobert and, and, and James Pierre on this one. Uh, but you just see Hayward, the mentality of fourth and two, probably not going to get home in time. Uh, there's also blitz on on this side with Spillane coming. So Hayward's, again, kind of more working more contained here and other guys are more designed to to get home on this play. And so Hayward's just, you know, reading and watching and trying to impact the, the game in other different kind of way. So um, you just kind of see that from, from Hayward down to down. And that's why he's batted down so many passes, leads all defense alignment this year with five of them. It leads the Steelers as a team with five of them. And I think his season high is seven and he's certainly on pace to break that. So you see Hayward impacting the game as an actual pass rusher with his strength and his long arm and his bull rush. Um, he'll throw some finesse some spin in there as well, but five pass deflections this year, Cam Hayward impacting the game in so many different ways. And that's what makes him to me the second best interior defense alignment in football and in his mind, maybe the best defense alignment in football. And I think he's playing as well as any defense alignment and almost any defender in the NFL this season.
So just wanted to shout out Cam Hayward there for doing those little things, and you see other guys that follow his lead, like I say, Louder Moak and Tyson Aluali before his injury. He was really good at getting his hands up and throwing lanes as well, but that's the little things that young guys like you know Bugs and Louder Moak and Henry Mundo have kind of learned along with his effort and chase and hustle of the football, and, and those just detail things that separate you from being a really good player to being a great player. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you guys have not done so already. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.